Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel for the people who know me and for the people who don't. This is Navneet Kaur. And uh, oh my god, how this video has been delayed so much. Like I think uh, I told that I'm going to uh, shoot this video in the first week of my vlogging but then um, we have procrastinated a lot and today uh, i had lecture at nine but then and directly at one i was anyhow about to shoot this video today but then um, the gods also wanted me to shoot this video today because uh, at 8 30 i got a message that my 9 uh, a.m class is cancelled has got cancelled so let's just get into the video anyway before starting the video how are you guys like uh this whole week has not been good i have not vlogged like i promised that i would vlog all pre alternate day but then i didn't this week because a my health was not keeping well b uh i didn't felt like so i'm keeping my hair back because i hate when I'm doing my skincare and my hair coming onto my face, I hate it. I hate it. I really hate it. We are almost ready. Okay, so firstly, uh, before starting, I want to give a brief idea of uh, what I think of my skincare. So basically, today we are gonna go, go with the whole uh, skincare, which I usually do. Uh, the, like this whole procedure, this I usually do. Uh, to be honest whenever i get time it's not like i have, i do it once in a week i do it once in a month there are months when i do like go without this but uh, i think if i'm letting you know then you guys at least do this um, once in a week because it's good uh secondly about skincare no let's first talk about my skin my skin okay i'm gonna crib a lot firstly because my skin is the worst skin in the world like if you can see the amount of acne i have is the worst like this has still gotten better if you ha would have seen me like uh, a year ago it was all over it like ye, this whole area this whole area this whole area even my chin area it was all just filled with acne i have acne prone skin but uh, yes i have really the worst skin in the world and i i hate cribbing about it but it's fine and also the people who think i wear makeup to hide this no you guys you're very wrong you're very wrong because uh, i never wear makeup to hide it like i just wear makeup because I love it like I really love few things like blush which doesn't hide I really love mascara I mean these are the things who literally like enhance like it's just lift up your look that's what I think I don't wear makeup to hide this and no one should because I have been dealing acne since uh, since six seven eight years now and uh, it has always gotten worse it has never came back like it, it has never got better it has always gone worse um so i would suggest you you should never be insecure of uh, the acne firstly and secondly you shouldn't be hiding it behind any makeup or any product because i think uh, most of the days i just go without makeup because now by the years it has just stopped bothering me to be honest okay now i'm trying to not crib anymore okay one second okay i'm trying to not crib anymore as i just said and uh, first up now let's start with a step-by-step -step procedure so first step is everyone knows that is cleansing so uh i have not one not two not three i have like four to five three to four products okay so now for the cleansing part i have like four products with four different stories uh so firstly i would start up with uh, the least favorite 
that is this this is mama earth's uttan face wash now oh it's matching anyway i want to talk about specifically about the mama earth products i just don't like them so this is just nothing it says it uh, helps for the tan removal but it just doesn't i don't know if you guys um, I have seen a lot of people, especially here in Punjab, using Mama Earth a lot, but I am not a big fan of it. So this is just a pass from my side. Now, talking about the cleanser. So firstly, I used to think that a cleanser which foams a lot, like it, like that means it really cleaning your skin, it really removing the all of the dirt and all. But no, by the time I have just realized that's not just true. But still like even after realizing that uh, those foaming face wash those really harsh face wash really uh, when you wash it it really tightens your skin it feels very dry and flaky but still after the whole uh, gaining of knowledge still i am leaned towards those products i don't know why like i do use the really good face wash the ones uh, who doesn't foam who's really which are, which are really good like dermatologist tested and stuff but then still after using after a span of time i still go back to the foaming face wash which is i don't know that anxiety in me or whatever so for that foaming part this one is really good uh, the garnier skin naturals it's a vitamin c uh, face wash and uh why i love this uh, face wash specifically it's because uh you know when i am feeling really dull because i have really bad skin so with the acne and with the other skin problems my skin really feels dull uh, at the end of the day uh most of the time at the end of the day and uh, i really use this face wash because this just i i don't know how to explain this is waking up my skin so this really helps for that and uh, it's really good it has uh, vitamin c and lemon and whatever it it deep cleans your skin but if you think uh, you don't want a foamy face wash or harsh like it's not harsh but then it's a foamy face wash which, which basically is not good and i think it also has sulfate so now we are going to talk about my most favorite uh, face wash <laughs> which is this i think everyone knows about this one and uh, people have rave about this uh, this is a setavel gentle cleanser so people uh, like when i used to use this first i used this it felt like it's just a cream it's just a gel where's the foam when i'm cleaning where's the foam i mean when you wash your face you need to feel that it has got cleaned this doesn't do that but this is a really good product because this is very gentle on your skin and for the skin like me the acne prone skin i think this helps a lot because this do nothing extra this doesn't foam this doesn't nothing this just does nothing this just cleans which you actually don't feel but it does and it is a really good product and the next product that i'm going to talk about is i don't know my is product ki marketing mein fas gayi hu ya what but this did help like i went um, so i went uh, to the shop uh, in chandigarh uh, to buy a perfume so that uh, was a general store and uh, they really have good ouds so i went to that shop and everyone just whenever saw my uh, whenever see my skin and they are like uh, you should do something about your acne so they suggested me this product and firstly the first part what i think about this product this is very expensive very expensive like i would never give 1500 for a face wash yes you can think a fool of me but i have got this product because the sales person who was selling this he literally raved about this product for 20 minutes straight like he literally patch test on my hands and he showed the difference on both of my hands and it did show a result at that point and he raved about it for 20 minutes straight and i just had to buy this so i did but so this is a uh, wild ferns new zealand rotorua mud uh, facial wash cream so this is supposed to be a mud which is found in new zealand so that must is supposed to be good for your acne and uh, let's just talk 
let's just say that this has actually helped my acne like i when i was using this continuously for two weeks three weeks straight i actually felt a difference on my this side of skin if you can see because this was this was as similar as this one and this did feel felt good and my skin did uh, had a non-acne week for a week now let's just uh, get started with the after cleansing process uh, i have already cleansed my face uh, i was just showing you the of the products and uh, now if it were a regular day then i would have straight away gone with the toning uh, serums and uh, moisturizing and stuff but no this is the whole skincare so we are gonna start up with the scrubs and the mask so the scrub so basically uh, talking about the scrub and the mask i don't have much knowledge about it these are the ones i have got i am trying i am still not a big fan of it but this is what i'm trying so i am just letting you know this this is the one i that i am using this is from neutrogena uh refreshingly clear it's an exfoliator this uh, supposed to have a pink grapefruit vitamin c this should purify for clearer radiant skin for now i'll tell you why i bought it i bought it just for this specific line which has written for blemish prone skin i have tried it uh, once once i have once again i have tried it a uh, few times but i just didn't see the result so let's see i've just uh, splashed a little bit water on my face and i am going to take uh -huh. this is how it looks i'm just taking a little amount for a start and i'm just gonna straight up start scrubbing so i have acne on my skin so i can't use a harsh scrub on it because they say that harsh scrub affects acne irritates acne more so this foams a little it is not supposed to foam because it's a scrub but it foams a little and you are supposed to scrub for like i think 5 to 10 minutes and um, i mostly focus on the forehead area uh, the area around my nose um mostly because those are the areas uh, like here for my blackheads and whiteheads and here because just i have very textured skin i just feel that it will help my texture skin but which it will doesn't so i will see you after i'm done with this i have washed my face most uh, after scrub what people do is uh, take a wet cloth and uh, just uh wipe it off but i don't feel like uh, i i just feel that it's still on my face so i just splashed some water and yeah look this is what happens after the scrub my acne got triggered and what is good for my skin i just don't know please recommend if you know anything so i have tried a lot of things i have tried n number of things i have tried benzoyl peroxide i have not, i have been, uh, like i have visited n number of dermatologist i've tried lot of serums but nothing just helped thoroughly so the after effect of the scrub i would say it has really soft in my skin like it feels good like when i touch it it feels good but then just look what it did anyway so the next step that we are going to talk about is this one so what comes after a scrub is a face mask and again why did i bought this one specifically because here if you can see it's written 99.9% acne control for acne prone skin but it didn't help with my acne like it's a good mask it really feels good when you apply it like it really soft like i'll let you know the after effects but this is why i bought it and so one thing i want to tell about this product this like uh, the all products of and caffeine this smell really good like if you're a coffee lover i am not but for me also it does smell really good like
this comes with this uh, sorry with this a uh, wooden applicator but I don't prefer it to use with this one this is a very jelly like uh, slimy consistency so I'll apply it and show you so you can apply it with the applicator also but I just don't feel like applying it with the applicator because I just want to apply it with my hands and also the most important thing that when you apply when you do your skincare make sure your hands are really clean like before doing skincare just first wash your hand really well because your hands is the applicator for all the steps <clears throat> i am done with the face mask so when i saw this face mask i thought it's a clay mask but this is just a basic coffee mask with salicylic acid and yes so this was why i bought this firstly because it's supposed to control acne this is oil control tones soothes and stuff stuff but i don't know how much it does this help with all of that but it does a basic job of a face mask that it makes your skin feel Max. This makes your skin feels good and stuff. Uh, so for the mask part, you are supposed to keep it 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, that's what has written here in the directions. Uh, we are going to do so. And uh, after rinsing it off, I will see you then. I was just waiting my mask to dry up. And it's so bad. It's so bad. Like... Whenever I see it raining, no, I really miss Mumbai. <laughs> I th actually I just want excuse to feel Mum uh, to feel like to miss Mumbai. Mujhe ghar jana. Yeah, it'll take uh, 15 to 20 minutes. It's raining, guys, and I'm sitting at the balcony door, and it feels so good. I said, like, it's Sunday. Hai. <laughs> Any difference, Asma? Yeah. What? It's glow. Kar raha hai. Glow? Kar raha hai? Yes. Really? Yeah. Okay, then it's worth buying, guys. Theek hai. I mean, I know the coffee, coffee like helps with the tanning and uh, it just rejuvenates like the dull skin, the dead skin. Uh, like coffee really helps for the people who have dark circles it uh, helps with the puffy eyes and stuff i know that but yes i mean again the after effects if i talk about myself what i feel about it is uh, it's very plump it's very soft with the acne obviously it won't show result like this but yes and now uh, my lips feels really dry for the lip part i have also have a lot of products so earlier very long time ago i used to use this uh, lip balm from khadi naturals which is a watermelon it with a uh, bees wax and shea butter sort of this is also nice but uh, like this uh, gives a shine to your lips but this i don't know if it's moisturized it does for some time but uh, after some time it's just gone uh, then I have this one, which I, when I went uh, Zimame Zima for shopping, I got this as a free gift. So this is not a lip balm. This is a lip oil. It's a peach blush moisturizing and nourishing lip oil, which is supposed to have almonds and ooba oil. And uh, this is nice, but I don't want to apply it now because I want to apply my most favorite, which I want to recommend you guys. So the next up is also this one. I used to use this in school so much. Like I think everyone used this one so much. Like do you also? Yeah. Yeah. So this one is Nivea's Berry Shine. So this one uh, is Nivea's uh, lip balm, which is I think this one is the darkest shade of the lip balm they have. Uh, look, this is not as dark as this one. This is a basic lip balm sort of, but this is really good. How stupid of me. A specific clip thi this was actually be happy thi to show off this product but uh, wo clip delete ho gayi ya maine record hi nahi kari i don't know 
सो आई वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट द लिप बाम द मोस्ट फेवरेट लिप बाम लाइक मेरी पूरी स्किन केयर में जितना भी इस वीडियो में सब कुछ है इसमें से इफ यू आस्क मी वॉट इज माई मोस्ट फेवरेट स्टेप एंड मोस्ट फेवरेट प्रोडक्ट इज दिस वन फ्रॉम प्लम इट इज देयर रेड वेलवेट लव फ्लेवर एंड दिस इज सो गुड सो गुड आई कॉन्ट स्टॉप टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस प्रोडक्ट बिकॉज इट्स इज सो गुड ए बिकॉज इट मॉइस्चराइज माई लिप्स सो वेल इट लुक्स सो गुड बी इट इज इट स्मेल्स सो गुड इट स्मेल्स लाइक अ बेकरी I don't know since the day I am using this I just don't know how many people I have recommended this product this is so good I am recommending you guys also look this looks so good this feels so good this moisturizes so well this is my most favorite part in this whole video and sometimes I don't even go on with my lipstick or gloss or anything I just go on with this lip balm and I just go out because this is just so comfortable and this is just so good product and uh, yeah aage badho now let's start with the basic skin care that i try to do every day like this you should you guys also should do every day this is not something you should do once in a week this should be a every day regime in everyone's life so first up we are going to start with a toner so for the toner i always wanted to buy uh, a rose water toner but then i found this one from color bar this is again on an expensive side for me because i think i won't uh, spend more than 500 on a toner because because i think there are other things which you should spend on this is a toner this is uh, from color bar hydra white intensing whitening that didn't uh, attracted me the whitening part what attracted me is a hydrating toner because uh, there are times when my skin is really dry so I use a lot. Yes. So toner <clears throat> So toner is supposed to uh you know when you wash your face it dries a little uh even though you use a gentle cleanser or whatever it dries up uh, my face at least a little. So you use a toner to firstly balance the pH level of your skin and also gives a hydrating and just creates a layer a barrier between the dry skin and the other steps of your skin care that you're going to lay on uh yes though i use the color bar one uh, the toner but i think i would recommend you a rose water one uh that uh, we have i think we have a lot of brands khadi naturals uh, and also this one brand i can't recall but you guys can have a rose water one because it really calms down your skin now talking about the most important part <laughs> of uh, the skin care it's okay <laughs> talking about the most important part of skin care especially for the people having acne prone skin and also other uh, skin problems that is pigmentation dull skin and stuff so now talking about the serum part so i have used a lot of serums firstly i used to use uh, the one from plum which didn't really help and people have uh, talked about this specific brand a lot over the years this is ordinary so since i have acne so i am supposed to oh, i am supposed to use niacinamide for the people who feel their skin is dry they should use uh, hyaluronic acid for the people who thinks their skin is dull they should use a vitamin c serum and uh, for the people who thinks uh, what else do we have so i use basically niacinamide and uh, which does help with my acne if i use it regularly but that's the problem with me i don't go regularly with my skin care which is so bad and uh, Yeah if you talk about serums I think you guys definitely should go with this brand uh, ordinary I have heard a lot about minimalist dermaco and वगैरह वगैरह but then I am stick to this one and this is good it will help you by the time if you are stick with a skin care to a good period of time now talking and also go with 
your neck also whatever you're applying on your face because neck is as important as your face now for the next step oh i have got this cut and sara kuch bada jal raha hai next next we are going up also i think i'll show you this lip oil this looks really good on like you can top up it on your lipstick you can top up on your lip balm people go directly also now talking about the next step that is moisturizing and i have also used a lot of moisturizer now the next product the second favorite like first favorite was the plum lip balm the second favorite uh, product of this whole skincare range is this now this moisturizer was recommended to me uh, by someone and i have tried it and i have been using this since a year now and i can never ever change or switch my moisturizer from this one this one is again from cetaphil it's a moisturizing cream for dry to normal skin for sensitive skin i think any product from cetaphil is the best like these are actually recommended from dermatologist like i was uh, visiting my dermatologist a lot of time and they always recommend you to have or do set up your products and it's actually good so i like to go up with my moisturizer or any other product like this on my hands and then on my skin look my skin looks like a glazed donut okay this is the last step of the skin care last but not the least and the most important step i don't know how much stress should i put on the word important and for this product specifically for the step the spf guys so i have this one from lotus this uh, is the new brand like it used to be lotus herbal now it is a it is also a lotus herbal now it's a baby brand that they have created that is lotus botanicals uh, this is the vitamin c skin brightening matte fluid sunscreen this one i haven't tried to be honest i will try and review this product very soon another which i am using since 2 years straight i haven't changed it is this one this one from neutrogena ultra sheer and a lot of people you have must have seen using this one and i like it it does a basic job it's just one problem with this product is whenever i goes near my eyes it just start burning like it is not as gentle as it should be now the favorite sunscreen is this one so now this one is from minimalist spf 50 sunscreen this also have niacinamide this also have vitamin b5 this is the amount of sunscreen you guys should use people really take chota sa tikka and just go with on your skin but no this is actual amount of sunscreen that you guys should be using and all of the uh, sunscreen that i showed you all of these are really good like this doesn't leave a white cast on my skin as you can see this just get into my skin thoroughly for the body care i have nothing much i have this one i really love this one this is the nivea lotion specifically why do i love it is because it's a cocoa nourish so this smells like a bakery again i love anything uh, that is vanilla or uh, just which smells like a cocoa chocolate vanilla bakery sort of so talking about the skin care I know there are a lot of things which is missing in this video like uh, I know people use AHA BHA serums exfoliators the peel off mask and stuff but this is what I do like I don't feel the need of anything else uh, even if I have a really bad skin but still this does the work if I do it regularly that's my problem which I don't do it regularly but if I do this whole regime regularly this will help my skin there are few things which I used to use on my acne so I used to use benzoyl peroxide and I also used to use this this is from plum this is their clear spot like gel so it supposed to help to lighten up lighten the spots that i have and i can also use it on my active acne 
and i also want to try the pimple patch that also is very trending these days and supposed to work good so we will talk about that also we are done with the skincare and also again i am gonna go up with my favorite favorite le le balm this is so good this is really good i don't need to repeat it but in this whole process my favorite one is this please guys buy it it is so good i think plum should sponsor me for <laughs> raving about their product but anyway we are done with the skin care and it feels good it doesn't look good because of my own skin issues that i have in my life but it feels good and i really li like it like it's just um uh, the idea like there are few things which really makes me feel happy uh one of them is cleaning like whenever i clean my space whenever i clean my room it really is a therapy for me and whenever i do my skin care or whenever i do makeup it is again a really a great therapy for me because it just makes me feel good from within like i am doing something good for my for me like around me or on my skin it just makes me feel good and uh, yes uh you guys can tell me in the comment section what makes you uh, what make you guys feel good uh it can anything it can hanging out with your friends or whatever but i'll tell i'm telling you about myself these are the things what makes me feel good and uh, yes rest i will see you with the another vlog and i was delaying this specific video since a long time but it's finally out now please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already uh this video took a lot of time and actually a lot of mehnat as compared to the vlogs that i usually do uh yes and this also created a hell lot of mess which i need to clean which i'm okay with it and yes see you with the another vlog till then bye bye subscribe to my channel like this video comment down uh what do you think about this video and also share if you like it bye bye